Today we're going to clean and perform some basic maintenance on the Xtool M1 laser. You can see I got some good soot on this thing. I've been using it quite a bit over the last couple months to make anything from bottle openers to ornaments. I'm really, really enjoying it. I really want to install the air assist kit and that involves putting these little command hook style brackets on to hold the tubing. And you need a perfectly clean surface, at least on the inner lip, to do that. I didn't want to be a heathen and clean that lip and leave the rest of the machine filthy. So I'm going to clean the whole unit today. You're going to need isopropyl alcohol. I'm using 70%. The 91, 97, whatever it is percent is probably better, but this works just fine, you're going to see. And cotton swabs are good enough, but might take a little while. You know, it's a pretty small surface area. So you'll see I do switch to rags eventually. And yeah, this is gross. Like, just have a look at how much soot accumulated just in a couple months here. I've had the exhaust running properly the whole time. I just haven't had the air assist kit installed. I don't know what kind of difference that's going to make yet. But you can see the losses are piling up pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to a rag for these bigger surfaces here. So I'm going to use a cotton. This is a piece of a t-shirt. Just something that was destined to be a shop rag, you know. Uh, I'm just going to take my time, get that nice and clean, and have a look at this. I filmed the line in the sand here. This is what I've cleaned and what I haven't, just so you can see how much it's actually accumulated. So imagine that accumulating on your laser lens uh, over and over and over again. I've cleaned the lens multiple times, um, probably 10 times actually. Uh, so don't let the condition of the machine on the inside fool you. I have been cleaning the lens, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But right now we're going to go ahead, this is how you grease the rails to keep the laser module moving freely. So there's two rails, there's this upper one and this lower one that you can't see, but if the machine were flipped over you would see very easily. Uh, mine are actually in pretty good shape. I'm purposefully not hitting them with any isopropyl alcohol because I don't want to strip this grease that's already there off and they look pretty good. And for the same reason, I'm only adding a little bit to mine. Uh, the manual says that you will need to add this after some time, depending on use. It's very, very vague. So I would keep an eye on these rails, make sure they got at least a little bit of grease on them, but things aren't too gloopy. If they are, just spread it out, spread it out with your finger, remove the excess, keep a nice little sheen on there. You may not have to do this for a very long time, by the way. So don't get too obsessed with this, but keep an eye on the rails. So I'm moving the laser head over so that I'm hitting the bit of rail that it was blocking. So make a point to do that so you don't have one dry spot on the rails. So this is the bearing that kind of rides the rails. I tried to film it for you quickly. Mine is actually, I noticed it's got a little hair in it, so I clean it right after this. Um, pretty cool system. So now we need to lift this off of, I have the honeycomb riser base installed. It's an accessory kit. I can talk about that later or ask me in the comments if you want. Make sure when you turn the laser head or turn the unit over that the laser head is actually um, at the lowest point already. So you can see I've moved it all the way to the left here. So that'll move freely and gravity will slam it into the side of the machine if you give it any room to uh, uh, ride down the rail and smack. Hopefully that made sense. Basically, you just put the laser head uh, at the side that you're going to pivot around as you turn it. So I'm just very carefully turning this upside down, making sure that all the wires are free. Just going very, very slow with it because I don't want to damage anything. So this is the little cutter head if you're going to use this like a cricket and cut uh, material with it. Vinyl, I mean. Uh, you can just pull that right out. It magnets in. So here we go, we got our alcohol again, we got a cotton swab right out of the package. Um, I like to invert the bottle over the swab like this and just saturate it a little bit, it just takes a couple seconds. And then the lens is right down in there in the middle of that brass colored ring. It's recessed a little bit and you're just going to want to kind of move the swab down in there very gently and that's all. That's all it takes to clean the laser lens. Uh, you'll know how clean it actually was beforehand based on how much soot's on the cotton swab. It'll probably be pretty nasty if you haven't cleaned it before. So definitely clean that thing often because it uh, can actually damage itself if the laser can't get through the lens because it's filthy. So I hope you liked the video. If you want to help me out and make the algorithm smile upon me, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, it's great to have you. Till next time, peace.